I'm Natasha Luchenko with today's CT Style Express. It is National Fire Prevention Month, which means it's a great time to brush up on our fire safety knowledge. Here to help is Sharon Cooksey, fire safety educator at KIDA, a leading manufacturer of fire and carbon monoxide safety equipment. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining us. Hi, always a pleasure to be here. Love this show. So we know that smoke alarms greatly reduce the risk of home fire deaths. Could you give us a refresher? What do we need to know about our alarms to keep us safe? First and foremost, make sure your alarms are working. And by that, I mean they should be younger than 10 years of age. Also make sure that you attest them weekly. But here's something that a lot of people don't know is that alarms have their own language and we want to help everyone understand what to do in case they hear the sounds of fire safety. Yeah, they have different beeps and chirps I know you were telling me. So could you break it down for us? What does one beep mean, two beep and, and so on? What should we know? Would love to. Okay, so one beep plus a 15, 30, 45, or 60 second pause means that your alarm needs something. It's like a baby crying, if you will. So it needs something. Most often that is a battery. That's an indicator of a low battery. If it's not a low battery, it might need cleaning. Believe it or not, every smoke alarm needs to be cleaned every six or 12 months. So if you think about it this way, you dust and clean your house, but Natasha, how long has it been since you dusted your ceiling? Right, I mean, and right? I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't know that, so this is really important. And now, also, how often should we be testing our alarms to ensure they're properly working? So we strongly recommend that you test them weekly. I know it sounds like a lot, but all you have to do, you walk by your alarms daily. So just hit the test button. And um, an another beep from your alarm is a two beeps. So two beeps and a 30 or 60 second pause means that uh, it's sending you a replace me chirp. That means your alarm is equipped with a replace me or end of life notification. It's a technical term. So that means it's time to replace the entire unit. Universally, three beeps repeating is smoke. That it senses a fire hazard, take immediate action. A four beeps means carbon monoxide. If your alarm, your smoke alarm is equipped with a, a, also a, a CO sensor in it, a combination alarm. But with every alarm is a little bit different. We strongly recommend everybody grab your user guide right now and become familiar with those sounds so that you know what to do in advance in case your alarm starts talking to you. Right, because in these cases, it's not just enough to have the alarm. We need to know how to use them and how to you know, respond to what they're telling us. And where should alarms be placed in the home? Should we have one for each floor? How does that all work? Such a great question. So we strongly recommend at least one on every level of the home that is climate controlled. So if you have an attic that's not, you know, doesn't have air conditioning or heating in it, we don't strong we don't recommend that placement but at least one on every floor of the home one inside every bedroom because believe it or not over half or about half of all home fires start overnight so in case you're asleep we want you to wake up have an alarm in your bedroom and also have one in the hallways outside of your sleeping areas so important so what we learned today replace once every 10 years, check once a week, know the beeps. Where can our viewers go to learn even more fire safety tips? Please visit our website at KIDA, K -I -D -D -E com, or also the NFPA.org has some great information too. Wonderful. Sharon Cooksey from KIDA, thank you as always for your time today and for the important information. Thank you. Stay safe. And that is today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.